Hey team, thanks so much for being here. We have a 30 minute full body hit. We're gonna do cardio and weights in the same workout. No repeats, all standing. Grab some light, medium, and heavy weights. Clear some space. Grab your towel, grab your water, and let's go. All right. All of our moves are on an interval. Reverse lunge, reach it up, switch, reach up, including our warm up. You got 60 seconds. Arms overhead. I'll just turn to the side to show you that form. Front knee should track in the same line as your toes. It's okay if it goes a little bit over your toes, but don't let it cave in or out. Okay, the purpose of this movement here is to bring some heat. So we're not doing any weights for the first four moves. We're just gonna warm you up. Make sure you have space. And if you have a fitness watch on, start your fitness workout. You can put this as a mixed workout, functional or interval workout. Gonna make sure I got an eye on the timer. Rest, march it out. Water towel during these breaks. They're 20 seconds each one. Next movement. Hopefully I'm gonna have a little preview window somewhere. Side lunges with the windmill in the arms. Chest is up, ready, let's go. Push the hips back, twist the spine. Twist, reach for that toe. There you go. Every good workout starts with a warm up. And a good warm up is gonna incorporate some preparation moves. So moves we're gonna do during the workout. Dynamic mobility work. Which we're doing right now through your spine and your hips. Setting the tone for the work that's ahead. It's a little bit of a mental prep, right? You're transitioning from whatever you just were doing before this workout. Maybe you were coming from work, watching TV, whatever it is. Getting ready to focus on your health. Try to end even. Rest. March it out. Keep your feet moving even during the breaks. Unless you're getting water, toweling off. Try to get those steps in here. Next move, we got a plie jack. Heels are in, toes are out. You're gonna sweep your arms like you're doing a jumping jack, but then lift off, find your balance. Lift off, on. Think about abduction right there at the top, so squeeze the waist, the side of the leg. Helps me look at the floor. I promise. Take a spot on the ground, look at it. It's gonna help stabilize you. Uh, this is not a music-based workout. So you can move whatever pace you want. It's on an interval, which hopefully I will have edited in a timer that you can see how much time is left for each move. Push to those heels. Beautiful, a few more. Engage your core, reach those arms. We're almost warmed up, right? I am. And rest, march it out. Swing those arms. Prepping for our last warm up move, the last move without weights. Shoulders down out of the ears. Feet are about shoulder distance. We're gonna squat, pulse up for three. Strike one knee, lift and balance, and let's go. Three, two, strike it up. Three, two, lift it up. Now I have mixed in cardio with your lower and upper body training. Try to give you a little more bang for your buck. So you can kind of tick all those boxes in one workout. So now I'm busy. So I'm thinking you're probably busy and you need something quick, in and out done, right? We're 
Brace that core. Strike that knee. Use your arms like a runner. Pump them up. Yeah, I'm feeling warm. This will do it. Load the hips. Sit back like a chair. Hold those pulses. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Rise up. Woo. Grab your lighter weights. Shake out those legs. Towel off. Water. This is the time to do it. I have eight. You can grab something lighter than this or heavier. Of course, do you. We got a lateral raise. Pause at the top. Push back. Ready? On. So pause. Push. And lower down. A little push back. Tiny, tiny, like an inch back. Now I have a kickstand with one leg. I just prefer that. But you don't have to have one foot back. You can totally just level out those feet. Sometimes it helps with my spinal position, and that's why I do it, to help remind me not to arch my back halfway. If you're finding that your form is falling apart, called technical failure. Go ahead, put those weights down, grab something lighter, or take a break. Well, this is gonna be a sweaty one, I know it. I can feel it, it's the first work interval right now. The first four were warm up moves. And done, Whew. All right, light weights, or even lighter than what you had before, it's kickbacks. You're gonna hinge it forward, try to tabletop your spine, row it up to the ribs from going back fast and then in slow. Rest, I'm gonna need this rest. Three, two, here we go. Hinge, back, and slow, 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 push back. Three, two, one. Work those triceps. So your eyes are down on the floor. Look forward, a little bit of a chin tuck. Try to keep your elbows high. Woo, fast, slow, slow, slow. Come on, fast, slow, slow, you're halfway. Once again, if your form starts to fatigue, take a break, especially if you feel this in your back. I recommend you stand up, reset the whole pose, do it again. <laughs> We're fighting. Use every beat. Rest. <sighs> okay, grab your heavies. Heavy weights for this next move. You could rack them on your shoulders. You could hold one in a goblet hold at your chest. I'm gonna hold both by my sides. That's just preference. I got 15. Right leg, you're gonna reverse lunge back, pulse it for three, here we go. Two, and then strike the knee up, just like the warm up. Three, two. We practiced this without weights, kind of. We did a squat one. Now, it's a split squat. Back, strike. Smile, okay? You're doing something good for yourself right now. I know it's hard, but the benefits are worth it. About halfway here. Fight. We're staying on this leg the whole time. Because it's a no repeat workout, <laughs> you're just doing one minute, right? Just one minute of each move. Yes, you can. Hold three, two. And open up the chest, stack the shoulders. <laughs> Rest. Put my weights down. Little dance break. Set two. Side two. You already know what it is. Quit dreading it. You could do this, okay? Pick up your weights. Set it up. Ready? Go. Pulse it. Three, two. Strike the knee. Three, two. There's a lot of magic. Just doing it. Just execute, right? Sink. Sink. Lift up. Other side. Make sure 
You're not doing the same like twice. Two. Almost halfway. Whatever weight you did for your right leg, same weight for this leg, and technically it will be your left leg that's doing the work. If you're mirroring me, Whew. no falling. That's the rule of my workouts, okay? No falling down. Strike that knee. Finish it. I know it's hard. Come on, come on, get lower, lower. Rest. Good news, cardio time. Put your heavies down safely and out of the way so you won't trip on them. We're gonna do some cardiovascular work here. Well, I'm already winded. Who are using big muscles? Use a lot of oxygen. Turn to me, left leg forward. Sorry, right leg forward. Left leg back. Jab, cross, knee. Jab, cross, knee. Add a little twist, twist, twist. Okay, so if you're not a kickboxer, don't worry about it. Just move your arms, move your legs. It doesn't have to be perfect. There's no such thing as a perfect workout. Pull it up, squeeze. Now turn to the side so you can see how wide the stance is. Jab, cross, jab, knee. Or maybe a little twist. Woo. Try to move with the beat if you can. Of course, we might lose our beat in the middle of the interval. Because it's copyright free music. And rest. Woo. Breathe. Okay, here's the bad news. Where is the other side? Here's the good news. You know it. Just flip it, okay? Other leg in front, right leg back. Guard is up. You're like a boxer in the ring, okay? Three, two, jab cross, knee lift. And there's that part where we lose our music for a second. So whenever it comes back on, just try to find the beat. Option, add that little twist back, right? Twist it back, obliques. Hold a minute here. Go to your happy place. Turn to the side. You can stay face forward. You can move all over the room though, okay? Feel free. This movement is medicine. So work with the space you have. If you have more room, you wanna take it around, go for it. And she loses the combo. lighter weights. We're going over the head. I know you're winded, so keep your head up. Bend your knees. Use your legs to pick those weights up. We got single, single, and then a double. Three, two, and on. Single, single, and then both. You can go whatever beat you want, but it's one on each arm, then both arms. Close those ribs, I'm gonna match the music up. Up, and then I'm gonna go slow for the double. Four, three, two, four, three. Singles fast if you wanna be on the beat. You don't have to be on the beat though. Four, three, two, singles. I don't know why my brain just likes the beat better. But the truth is an overhead press is an overhead press. Whether the music matches it or not. Good. Singles. Close the ribs. <laughs> it's starting to get hard. <laughs> Singles. Doubles. Finish it, Tara. Finish it. Rest. I'm going to get my heavier weights. We get a cool pattern coming up here. We're going biceps here. Elbows are in, palms face me. Shoulders down your back. Nice soft bend in the knees. We're going up all the way. Down halfway. 
All the way back up. All the way down. Ready? Here we go. Halfway. All the way. Halfway. All the way. Oh, gosh. <laughs> so I have the 15s today, and boy, I'm going to feel this one. Now, if you don't like the copyright free music, feel free to mute me. <laughs> Hopefully, it'll be easy enough to follow. You don't have to listen. This kind of workout's pretty predictable. Now, those cardio ones with choreography, you're going to need to unmute me. <laughs> Sorry about that. Struggling, struggling. Come on, come on. One halfway. One all the way. Woo! Thank goodness. Oh. All right. Bad news. You're going to need your heavies again. We're going to squat. You this time, I'm going to rack up on my shoulders. I recommend either hold up the chest or rack on your shoulders because you're going to tap out to the side. You need room. Ooh. Squat, hold the bottom. Three, two, one. Squat, tap side, stand up, do it again. Same leg. That's the whole thing right there. Whew. This is your minute right here. Squat, hold, tap it out, tap it in, press up. You're going to feel that in the leg that's not moving out to the side. You're lightening on this leg. You're moving with right leg. Woo, get lower. Press up. Think like maybe 5% of the weight on the toe that's tapping, 95% on the other leg. Come on, sink, tap. Woo! You could always drop your weight if you need it. But don't drop it on your foot, please. Come on, last five. And rest. Woo! Nice work. I'm just gonna keep them racked. But you can put them down if you need a break for your shoulders or for your wrists. You know it's coming. We're gonna do the other side. Okay, get ready, get ready. Be shoulder distance, two, one. Here we go, you drop. Tap side, center stand. It's gonna be your left leg now moving out and in. Your right leg is not fresh, but that is the focus of this exercise. The right leg. Come on. Light on the tapping foot. Heavy on the inside foot. Oh, you're halfway. You didn't come this far to only come this far. Finish it. Set those hips back. Press up. We're going to go cardio next. Kind of flush out this burn we're creating in our legs. That's good news. Remember that form. Don't let it fall apart, even though I know we're getting tired. Rest. Put the weights down safely. Off to the side. Where you won't trip on them. Hey. I'm feeling like that was cardio. This one is cardio focused. Right oblique. Left toe. Three. Two. Let's go. Reach. Pull. Reach. Pull. Reach. Can you match the beat? Pick up that pace. One side, one front. If your hamstrings are tight, just do the heel, little heel dig. Reach. You can have fun with this one too. You can turn all around the room. You got the pattern down, right? Whew. You check on the dog. Check on the cat. <laughs> Whoever your workout buddy is today. Come on. Just keep moving. Keep moving. Last 10. You should be feeling some burn happening right here. Even though there's no weight. 
body weight. Rest. Shoulder roll. Shake it out. You got any tension anywhere? Here's your chance. Release it. Side seal. Left oblique. Right kick. Get ready. Make it. Two. Let's go. One knee, one kick. Now, a cool thing about this workout is if you are in a space where you can't get down on the ground, not a soft surface, you don't have a mat, or it's a hotel with a dirty, nasty floor. It's all standing, <laughs> so you can do it. You are halfway, and maybe you take a little spin around the room. Whew. Think about how good you're gonna feel when you're done with this workout. Nothing feels better than a finished workout, baby. Outlast the music, you have 10 more seconds. Come on, starting to feel some burn in my hips. Use that arm. Rest. Woo one weight, one lighter, lighter weight. If you're winded like me, keep your head up. Use your knees, bend your knees, bend your hips, pick that weight up. Right arm, left leg is gonna lunge. Stretch it back, sorry, left leg is gonna bend. Hinge forward, here we go. Two, and pull it back, slow. In, center, and down. In center, and down. So I'm gonna turn to the side a little more. That movement, a little tricep, lat, and posterior shoulder, back of your deltoid. Not to mention, you're holding your lunge, right? Up, squeeze in, down. Good, good, halfway. Whatever weight you picked up, you committed now, okay? It's gonna be the same weight for the other side. Unless you have like a shoulder injury, an elbow injury that you're gonna take care of, then you can pick up a lighter weight or just do no weight. You still get benefits. Movement brings blood flow. And done. <laughs> okay, remember what I said, you committed. Whatever weight you did with your right arm, same weight with your left arm. You're gonna set up that lunge. I'm waiting. Wait, so I know it starts to burn. Okay, start getting in it. Bend the knee, hinge forward, pinky back. Here we go. Up, squeeze in, and lower down. Squeeze in. You lengthen the back of your neck a little bit. You're pulling the skull up off the shoulders. And for a second, my brain forgot how to do this exercise. That ever happened to you? Hopefully not on camera. Squeeze back. You got bracing the core. A little push into your midline. Push. Okay, 20 seconds left. You could do this. Everything you got here. Finish the exercise with the best form you can. That shoulder head rolled back. I know it's hard. <laughs> but you can do hard things, baby. Rest. Nice. Okay, we get to grab our heavies. We get to. You like that phrasing? It's an opportunity to use your heavier dumbbells. Pick them up. We're doing a combo move. A dead and a row. So deadlifts, feet are shoulder distance. Knees are soft. Shoulders down your back. You're gonna slide down. Ready? Begin. Slide down the thighs. Row. Release. Push the heels down. Undo the whole thing. Keep going. It is at your own pace. You don't have to match any music, especially anything with forward flexion like this. I recommend you go really slow, controlled. Just kind of sense where your back is today. Pull your navel up. Protect that back. So your abs, properly engaged, can 
really, really provide protection for your spinal column. So use them, use them, that's what they're for. Woo. Come on, a little hinge and a row. 10 seconds. We do this, keep those shoulders back. Rest. Okay, last, ooh, I'm gonna keep them. Last exercise. Rack whatever weights you choose. I lied, it's not the last exercise. It's the last strength exercise. Rack them on your shoulders. Heels in, toes out. We're doing a sumo. Step together, arabesque. Let's go to the left first. Ready, down, step, lift, release. Other side, down, step, lift, release. Now you could option here, tap, come back in. Sumo, tap the corner. That's if your balance is an issue. If you can, lift off, turn it out. So rocking on the shoulders, but you could hold this in front of you. I just prefer this one for squats. Squeeze the back side. 20 seconds. You are almost done though. You only have two more minutes of work after this. And they're cardio. They're fun. <laughs> they're like fun. Define fun. One more, come on. Rest. Set the weights down, out of the way. Cardio coming up. Okay. We got four knees, four kicks, four jump ropes, or eight jump ropes, and then four jumps. Let's find the B here. Start with the jump ropes. All right, we're on jump roping. Three, two, right knee, let's go. Four, three, two, left kick, sorry, right kick. Three, two, jump rope. Now jack, four, three, right knee, four, three, right kick, four, jump rope, spin the rope, let's go. Jumping jacks, tap, or you could jump these. Right knee. Kick them, please. Four, three, jump rope. Finish it with a blast here. Jacks, four times. Four, three, right knee, reach up. Four, kick it. Four, jump rope. You're almost there. Jax, can you finish it? Four, three. <laughs> Woo! Nice job. One more. We're gonna burn it out. So we're gonna reach to the side lunge, other side lunge, and then a double. Yeah, you can do it. Three, two, here we go. Singles. Single, single, go double. Again, single, single, single. Double. Do it again. Single. Single. Two. One. A little hop in there. Two. One. Reach. Reach. It's your last minute of work. Let's earn that cool down. Two. One. Don't skip the cool down, by the way. One. And if you did this workout and you liked it, Give me a thumbs up, please. Single, single. Leave a comment, share, subscribe. I'm almost monetized, so excited. Come on, come on. Single, double. Single, single. Reach those arms. Little hop if you got it. Hey, and done with the work. Keep your feet moving. Smile on your face. Wipe the sweat. Now stick around for the cool down, please. Don't click away. Not yet. You're bringing your heart rate down. Roll the shoulders. So by now your timer should hopefully be gone wherever I put it. Okay. Both hands, reach them up. 
come in, exhale, blow it out. Keep your feet moving. Bring the heart rate back down. Up, reach. Blow it out, one more. Excellent. Take your right leg, bring it forward to me. Press your left heel towards the floor. Stretch out that calf. Let's multitask. Take your left arm down, pull it to the right shoulder. Stretching the shoulders. And my heart is still beating fast. Maybe yours is too. Release and switch, other side. Press the other heel to the floor. Calf stretch, and let's add some shoulder love here. Pull it to the opposite shoulder. What a weird pull down song I picked. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> release. Go ahead and take those feet nice and wide. Right hand to your hip, stretch the side body here. Lengthen up out of your hip. Suction your belly in and we'll switch other side. Hand to the hip, right arm up. Need that one. Slow release, you can catch your knuckles behind your back. Interlace, drop them towards the floor. Expand the chest. Think about how good you feel at the end of your workout. And then reverse it. Hook your palms round your back. So it's like you're diving in a pool. This is for those rows. Excellent. Let's take the thumbs back into a T. And then rotate the thumbs to the floor. We'll just do a couple more here. Rotate up and rotate down. Last one. Excellent. Kick your right leg forward. Heel down, toe up. Sit your hips back. Weight on your back thigh above the knee ideally stretching out those hamstrings hopefully there's a smile on your face because you're proud of yourself you should be switch the other side kick that heel out toe is up sink lift up your sit bones keep a soft knee great workout today team slide that foot in underneath your hip roll it up slow ragdoll big breath in victory. Nice job. I will see you in the next one.